हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ पी पी एस एंड दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग माय नेम इज जीनल झाला एंड आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड अवर टॉपिक दैट इज ऑपरेटर्स एंड टोटल एट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स वी हैव टू लर्न इन दिस मॉड्यूल एंड फर्स्ट थ्री ऑपरेटर्स ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड दैट इज एरेथमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स second is a relational operators which is used for uh, defining relation between two operators and last is a logical operators so today in this video lecture we are going to start with fourth operator and that is assignment operator and the sign of assignment operator is a equal to sign and what is the use of assignment operator it is used to assign the value or an expression to the variable how suppose i am writing a is equal to 10 then it's called as a assigning a value to our variable and if i am writing a is equal to b plus c then b plus c is an expression so the value of this expression we can assign to the variable a using the sign of equal to so this is called as a assignment operation and in c programming by using assignment operator we can perform some shorthand operations like plus is equal to then minus is equal to then multiplication equal to division equal to and modulo equal to and how we can write the program using assignment operators so let's see one example first of all we have to include one library that is studio.h then after we have to write the code in our main function so in void main we have to write our code here i am using two variables first integer a is equal to 10 here a is equal to 10 is nothing but assigning the value to our variable using our assignment operator and then second variable is a b variable now in second line b is equal to a here again i am using assignment operator so what happen after executing this expression the value of a will be copy into our variable b so 10 will be copy in the b and the value of b is equal to 10 now second operation a plus is equal to a plus b this is a shorthand operation but when you expand this expression the meaning of this expression is like a is equal to a plus b and this operation you can use when left and right side operand is the same like a is equal to a plus b so here left and right both side the variable is a that is common that's why we can use this uh, shorthand operation like a we have to write only one time then uh, the process is addition so plus sign then assignment operator and last remaining expression is b so in this way we can write it so what will be the value of a after executing this expression the value of a is 10 and b is also 10 so 10 plus 10 will be 20 so our updated a value become 20 and the output is like the value of b is equal to 10 and value of a is equal to 20 so in this way we can use assignment operators move to the next operator that is increment and decrement operators now what is the use of increment and decrement operators increment means the value increment by 1 and decrement means the value decrement by 1 suppose i am writing a is equal to a plus 1 the same operation we have to do but here the operators are used plus plus for increment and minus minus for decrement and again increment and decrement divided into two parts so let's see first is a pre increment pre means prior so the our operator we have to write before our operand means plus plus a is called as a pre increment then second type is a post increment means our operand is before and after we have to write our operator so a plus plus is a post increment 
same way we have to write decrement and for decrement uh, we can use minus 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 a means pre decrement and a minus minus means post decrement now you think that what is the difference between this two type of increment and decrement so let's see with one example uh, to clear the difference between pre and post when you write before or after plus plus uh, of an operand uh, the value of this particular operand will be increase in both cases but when uh, you assign the value to another variable the difference is indicate there how let's see first for example include our header header file then in main function i am uh, declaring four variables a b c and d and i am assigning the value of a and b a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 now my expression is like c is equal to a plus plus and d is equal to plus plus b now see here a plus plus means it is a post increment and plus plus b means it is a pre increment so the value of a and b increased by 1 in both the cases either pre or post but the difference is in the value of c and d how so when c is equal to a plus plus execute the value of a will be increase after the assigning the value to our c variable means first of all initial value of a assigned to our variable c so initial value of a is 10 so 10 assigned to our variable c and then after our a will be increment because it is a post increment so our a become 11 but our c is 10 only then d is equal to plus plus b so here it is a pre increment in pre increment first of all the value of variable increase and then assign to the next variable so here the value of b is equal to 5 so first of all 5 increase by 1 that is 6 and the value of b is 6 and 6 incremental value is assigned to our variable d so the output is like c is equal to 10 a is equal to 11 d and b both are 6 so in this way we can use increment and decrement operators and mainly the use of increment and decrement operators are in our loop chapter we will see in uh, next module then next is a conditional operator what do you mean by conditional operator uh, when uh, we write a program using conditional statement the same program we can write using conditional operator for code optimization we can use this operator and this operator is also called as a ternary operator why it is called as ternary because we have to use three operands that's why it is called as a ternary operator and the symbol for ternary operator is question mark and then after colon and how we can write the syntax of this conditional operator so first we have to write expression 1 and for expression 1 we have to write one condition and again condition will be true or false we have a two possibility so after question mark we have to write true part that is our expression 2 then after do colon and after colon write the false part so in this way we can write this syntax using conditional operator so the same program which we have write in relational operator to finding maximum number among two numbers we can write it using conditional operator how we can write it let's see in example first step is include the header file so has include studio.h then after write the main function and in main function we have to declare first of all two variables a and b and i am assigning the value a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 and our third variable is a c because this whole expression i have to assign in another variable now for at the place of expression 1 we can write the condition and for finding maximum number from two numbers our condition is a greater than b so c is equal to expression 1 is equal to a greater than b then after we have to do question mark if our condition will be true then what is our true part true part is a is max 
so after question mark write a then after we have to write false part so do col colon and after we have to write b so the expression is like c is equal to first condition that is a greater than b question mark true part is a and false part is b how it will execute here check the value of a and b so 10 greater than 5 condition true yes condition true that's why the two true part will be stored in our variable c so here true part is a so the value of a will be assigned to our variable c so c become 10 and we have to print the value of c because maximum value store in our variable c so print f maximum value is equal to percentage d comma the value of c so the our output is like maximum is equal to 10 if you change the value of b here instead of 5 you put 50 then what happened check the condition 10 greater than 50 condition true or false false in that case our false part will be assigned to our variable c means c is equal to b will be stored so the value of b is equal to suppose 50 then 50 will be stored in our c variable and our output is like maximum is equal to 50 so in this way our conditional operator will work so in this video lecture we have learned total three different types of operators assignment operator then increment and decrement operators and conditional operators Condi by using conditional operator we can optimize our code because when you use conditional statement like if else then you have to write four different statement first if then true part then else then false part so uh, by uh, using for statement we can check the condition but here using conditional operator we can write code the same code and check the condition in only one statement so this is the advantage of conditional operator and assignment operators and increment decrement operators are the most imp because in loop always increment and decrement portion will be used so you have to remember these all operators very clearly and in previous lecture we have used relational and logical operators they all are used in our third module that is conditional uh, statements and in next video lecture we are going to discuss about the remaining operators that is bitwise operators and special operators so hope guys in today's video lecture you understand very well uh, we will see the next operators very soon till then take care bye bye thank you so much